guys, Leanne. I'm going to kind of talk to you about something that's really bugged me. Um, and this guy's balloon is kind of floating around for her birthday, so that probably should be buzzing around. Anyway, um, so about a month ago, <clears throat> um, I was having like a sharp, stabby pain in that area. Um, and I've got the IUD. I've had that in the copper one. We just In the UK, we call it like a copper coil. Obviously, in other places, people don't really know coil is, I learned that by <laughs> telling Caden it and she was like what's a coil and I was like oh yeah no you do we obviously, we do call them that we just call them coils um, so yeah about a month ago I was having like stabby pains and um, a random spot in and I was it wasn't due for like um, a week and a half, two weeks I don't think so obviously like, that shouldn't have been doing that um, and I ran my doctor's surgery and I said um I asked for a callback because I had uh, work and I couldn't go in to go and see them because I have to get to work and I didn't know that until a couple of days later. I had like, a whole bunch of time off which resulted in me being paid hardly anything that month because the kids were ill and obviously you don't get uh, like, disciplined for it because it's dependence but it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, so yeah that happened and that was really annoying um, and the doctor ran me back bless her which was really really good I was really happy that she ran me back but she was really annoying um, I, I said to her that I was having stabbing pains and that I was spotting and she was like well how long have you had it in for and I said seven months and she went oh I highly doubt that it's coming out and I was like right I said so is there no way of coming in like tomorrow to get it checked just to make sure and she was like no no I highly doubt it's coming out it, it probably it's not that she said you're probably just having um, like pains and I was like, oh right, yeah, is that normal? To have just random pains like that. I was like, oh right, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, that was good. Um, I kind of said to her as well because um, a few years ago, or well, quite a few years ago, um, I had a marina coil in, which obviously everybody knows what marina, if you, they call it marina anyway. I had that one in um, and it had slipped and I had gotten pregnant and eventually it had fallen out and obviously I didn't realise it was falling out I just had stomach pains and the time of it falling out the time it had slipped and it fallen out I had gotten pregnant and obviously I hadn't known um, and I'd taken like a pregnancy test because I had <laughs> like I had obviously it had fallen out and it was a hormone one and I was really lucky I never got periods of it so I thought well, surely that should have come by now and it never did um, so I rang so back then I had obviously rang when I found out I was pregnant and I was like I don't really know what I want to do because I was like a single mum still and obviously it was just like a little fling <laughs> and obviously I was protected but I wasn't um, so yeah, that, that, that wasn't obviously good uh, but luckily slash not so luckily because I was quite upset about it because obviously I, I, I would have happily been a single parent too um, I had lost that one because it had it wasn't growing uh, properly. It kind of stayed at about five weeks. Um, I went in when I was like eight weeks. Obviously, when I, I, I'd taken the test and I'd, I'd worked out anyway that even if I was five weeks when I'd taken the test, um, Dad. yeah, Dad. Um, <laughs> and uh, by the time I eventually went to a midwife and kind of sussed out what I was going to do, and I was like, I was going to keep it. And I was like, all right. Um, I started bleeding and I, sh I should have been uh, 11, 12, 11 weeks probably about, I can't remember now, so long ago, about 11 weeks I think it was meant to be. I went for a scan and it was measured at 5 and I tried to explain to them that um, oh, it should be about 11 and they're like, oh no, baby's fine, it's not a heartbeat and about 3 days later um, I, I lost it, which obviously was quite upsetting. Uh, I should have blood and stuff and obviously I wasn't really happy because I had the coil in. But anyway back to my coil uh, I it had obviously well I was having pain about it and um, then after that um, I obviously come on and it was abnormal let's put it that way it was really light now I, I am blessed like, I do get really really light ones but I don't get like light ones that don't really get much heavier and it was light and for about a week it was light and then a couple more days it was light and then Saturday come and this was something like day 10, I think, of it. And I'm like a, a, a full, 
four day girl and I'm quite lucky and it went dead and it started getting heavier and I started having the shit loads of stomach pains and I was like what the hell is going on um, I, I you know I done like a nine hour shift I was like oh it must be that you know I've like, got my back or something and it's just kind of radiating through and I was like well, I've done like a nine and a half hour shift um, and then Sunday came and I went to work and then I was pale, I was clammy I was in so much pain. I had like no um, paracetamol or any like form of like. I, I worked in a supermarket, but I couldn't be asked to get out, and go buy some, just to, just to yeah seize this pain a bit. Um, and I got home and I rang my mum and I was like, Mum, it's not normal. And my mum was like, That's not. Are you sure you're not pregnant? And I was like, No, no, I'm pretty sure I'm not pregnant because you know it's been going on for ages. And and I mean it was it was horrendous because it was like. There was loads of blood at this point as well, and I was like, what the hell? The last time I had that much blood was when I had, like, the miscarriage, and it, well, no, it was after I'd come off the pill, actually, to conceive Sky. That was quite a bad one. That was quite uncomfortable, and I kept, like, fainting, because it was quite painful. This is what happens when you come off contraception, you've been on it for a while. That was not good. Um, but, yeah, basically, then Sunday I went to the loo, and, yeah, it was there. And I was like, that's meant to be up there. So I, like, rang the doctor uh, to book an appointment slash complain, because that bitch should have checked it in the first place. Because, one, two weeks, they have, like, been bleeding for, which is not like me, and it sucks. And two, I'm now no longer covered against hanky panky, which, you know, I like that, but yeah, not covered. So I had to go in, luckily they saw me because I explained it, and they're like, yeah, come in today, which was really nice. And the lady I saw was like, absolutely lush. She is really, really sweet, and she, like, I had Sky, and she loves Sky. Every time I go in, she, like, recognises her and, like, talks to us. But obviously, Sky's not with that Dr. Sergio anymore. We've moved Sky, but eventually I need to move where Sky is as well because it's so much closer. Um, and she, yeah, she was lovely, and I, like, she asked me about all my contraceptions. I've contraception I've ever been on and I was like you want the full list of everything I've been on I was like what well I've had the implant in my arm I had that in for a year I had that taken out because that messed up my periods and I was on for three weeks off for a week and on for three weeks like it had gone the wrong way round um, and then with that, they combined that with the pill to try and calm it down, and it didn't do anything. Um, and then from that, I had that taken out, and for well over a year, I was just using, like, we were just using condoms, and then Ed would come. And then after Edward, I went <coughs> on to the pill. Uh, instead of the pill, I had the patch which that wasn't bad, I don't know why she never offered me that, like, you know, but that's got, like, the hormones and stuff in it. I, ha I had the patch, um, and then I had the coil put in, um, the first one fell out, so I had the patch until they, no, the first one had to be taken out because it was, wasn't right, I had the patch until they could fit me with a new one, then that one fell out, then I got caught pregnant, and then I went on the pill, I had the coil put back in, and then obviously I met Jay, eventually had that taken out, went on one pill, um, that didn't agree with, I went on the mini pill, that didn't agree with me, went on the other pill that you obviously had to break, um, that was horrendous when I had stopped taking that, so that's what made me like bleed horrendously, and then that was um, when I decided, we, when we decided about Sky. And then after Sky, I went on the pill within about a week after having her, the mini pill. Um, and I didn't like that because I kept, you know, I, I don't, I'm bad at remembering to take things. And then had my coil put in. So I was like, right, so that's the list of things. So pretty much the only thing I've never used is uh, the depot injection, which I don't want because I'm fat enough as it is. And all these crazy hormone things tend to make me, like, put shit loads of weight on, which is bad. Um, and obviously I've used like condoms and stuff but I've never used anything else 
because she was really sweet. She basically just said she doesn't recommend using a cap or a diaphragm or a ring. She's like, because they're really messy with the diaphragm and all that crap. She's like, they're really messy. She's like, they're such a mood killer because you've got to put it in like four hours or something stupid like that before you go and have sex. And I was like, well, that's no good because what happens if you like the heat of the moment kind of that kind of thing and then she turned around and said to me I won't give you another coil because two different types are now falling out the hormone one I can't really have anymore because it messes me up in another way which I don't really want to say but it messes me up and then obviously the, the copper coil which wasn't that bad but it's falling out and I, I am now officially not trusting it um, so the only thing she said I can actually do is using the barrier way of protection, which is using condoms, which you know, if you know any lad, don't really like using them. So, this is it. literally, Jay can get the snip, which I won't, like, let him. One, because we probably want another one anyway. And she did say there's no point. She was like, you might as well just use condoms up until you want another one. Have another one, and then we'll discuss other things. So at the moment, I've now printed out a load of these because we're going to start charting to make sure we don't get pregnant. <laughs> uh, she did give me a pill. Uh, just, she's like, you can take it if you want. She's like, but she doesn't really think that it's going to like cooperate with me. So I'm really stuck on what to do. So if anybody knows if like natural family planning is any good. But for not having a baby, please let me know on how to do it, because we are a 